Hey everyone, I'm Zan Bake, this is Auto Group, and today we're gonna try something a little bit different for our own 2016 Lexus ES350. So, currently this car gets about 19.5 miles per gallon combined, uh, I would say, because after each refuel it tells you what your data is. So first of all, let's just go ahead and start it. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so as you can see, boom, right there it says after refuel 19. So uh, that's pretty decent, but uh, obviously you can make this better if you get some aftermarket parts for the car. So let me show you. Here is the KNN high flow air filter, and it says washable, reusable, right? This is meant to be reusable over and over. You can wash this. They're like small kits for it. It's like $57, and it also says designed to increase horsepower and acceleration. So basically that's the main purpose of it since it is a performance air filter. Canon, boom, right there. And then you just got the little model number for this car. It's 332443. And then they have a bunch of them. I went to AutoZone yesterday with an advanced auto part, something like that. And then they had a bunch of different ones. Okay, so for uh, the Lexus's uh, air filter box, uh, it's actually really, really easy to open. All you gotta do is flick one clip there another one right there and that's it. it just has two clips and then you just lift that boy carefully and here we go we got the Toyota Denso air filter because that's the OEM part and uh, it looks to be pretty yellow from the top and from the bottom it's, it's decent got a few leaves uh, leaf pieces over there it says made in USA which is surprising I didn't know that but uh, okay anyways this actually looks like an okay condition but we could tell that it definitely needs to be changed because uh, once you put that in, I remember we did this for the 2009 Lexus ES, so we know how big of a difference it makes. So normally, maybe you won't notice any uh, like power loss or anything, but when you have already experienced that product, you want that in your car as well. So uh, here we go. We're just gonna freaking toss this boy. Boom. So it's really nice the way you. It just comes out super simply, and it has you know, of course, the reusable material. It's a little oily, obviously, in there because it's yeah. meant to be uh, super durable. As you can see, some of its little liquid to keep it hydrated is over here in the back, so kind of don't want to get all messy. So, we will install this this way. Just go ahead and slide it in. It's very slippery, but which is good. And then, let's go ahead and clip it all back up and see. Go ahead and set it in, boom. Boom. So for the older, the 2009 Lexus ES, everything is covered, so you have to do a little bit more uh, to access that type of stuff for that car, because it has a few little, those plastic bolts, but this car doesn't, so uh, I'm actually not sure why they did that for this car, but that's that. Now, let's go ahead and see how the car drives with the new filter, and then hopefully maybe after uh, 10, 15 minutes, it should give us a better MPG number. Alright guys, so uh, here we go with the new Canon filter. Uh, this is two days, I think, two days after getting it on. And we shall see how it changes up the car. So uh, uh, the thing that I noticed about this is that what's a bit different than the 2009 uh, Lexus ES's Canon filter is that this one didn't really affect the MPG too much. It's still 19.7 right now uh, on the highway. The highest I've gotten is, I believe, 20.2. So right now, as you can see, one of the things that is really interesting that it does is really drastically it improves the uh, throttle response and uh, the smoothness overall. More than the throttle response, the smoothness for sure, which is good. And uh, otherwise, some other changes. Um, uh, when, when you're going at a certain speed, it's pretty smooth to uh, keep on going if you want to add in power. Uh, otherwise, obviously, the thing about Canon is that it doesn't void your car's warranty. Uh, even if it is a performance air filter, it's, it's not a major performance upgrade or anything. If you're looking for an air filter that boosts your fuel economy, uh, this is a decent option for that. Um, it just makes it, you know, slightly just a little better but overall I think obviously the biggest performance benefit is uh, the power out of this filter so